Hey, it's Heather Collins, and this is a really cool experience. I have the CEO of Capriati's, Ashley, in studio with me right now, and he brought me some sandwiches, and he's going to give me the history on Capriati's. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for having me. Um, so I actually did a broadcast for you guys one time. Yes. And at that point, I've only ever had the Bobby. Okay. And the store manager or owner or whatever let me try your guys' sandwiches. So let me try them all. Because she's like, you have to try them. And I have to say, there's some food items I'm not a fan of, but your guys' recipes are perfect. Like, you, you don't need to make changes to a sandwich. You could literally just order the way it is, and it's perfect. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a curated experience. And so, you know, the founder was very particular with her recipes, and that's what she wanted to do. She wanted you to be able to come in, order something off of the menu, and, and have it taste delicious without you necessarily having to modify it. I have to ask, are any of the recipes on the menu now from back when you guys opened? Almost all of them. Really? Mm -hmm. So we really haven't changed the menu very much. Uh, we've added a few things to the menu, salads, soups, chicken cheesesteak, a couple of things like that. There's been some items that have fallen off the menu over time, uh, but primarily uh, the menu has been historically the same for 42 years. Um, I will say this though, which is what, while we're talking, um, very soon we are going to be uh, adapting the menu and adding some really amazing sandwiches to the menu. Oh snap, you hear so it first. So like, it's this spoiler alert. There's, there's two or three or maybe four really amazing sandwiches going on the menu. Can you give and, us a uh, hint? Well, there are, uh, there are two brand new chicken cheesesteaks going on the Ooh. menu that are outstanding. Um, and there are some other things that, uh, that, that are on there. There's a different variation of a cheesesteak that may be on there that it, that's pretty incredible. Um, so there are some things like that that are, that are coming very, very, very soon. What is your most popular sandwich that you guys sell? So the number one selling item has been and continues to be is the cheesesteak. Really? I thought you were going to say the Bobby. The Bobby's the most famous. So the Bobby is our is our celebrity sandwich. And okay. Obviously, it's one. It's been voted the greatest sandwich in America by America Online. It's won the World Cup of sub sandwiches from the Washington Post and probably another hundred awards over the over the years. But the cheesesteak is the highest selling item. Really? Yeah. I gotta say, your cheesesteak is pretty bomb. But Maybe. I we're gonna go talk about the Bobby since it's a celebrity. Okay. We'll Where did that idea story. come from? So Lois, the founder, mm -hmm. had an aunt, and her name was Bobby. And what Aunt Bobby used to do is the day after Thanksgiving, Aunt Bobby would wake up and she was in charge of making the Thanksgiving leftovers, I reheating them, and she would make for all the kids in her family these sandwiches. And the sandwich would have the turkey and the mayo and the stuffing and the coleslaw, or excuse me, and the cranberry sauce, um, and put it all together. And she would make this Thanksgiving sandwich. And so as Lois, you know, uh, years later, when she opened a restaurant and, you know, she opened a sub shop, she had always remembered that sandwich growing up and had thought, wow, this is, it was just was part of my childhood. I need to get this on the menu. And so basically what she did was, is just in the month of November in her first store, uh, she put it on the menu and it was a small, just limited time offer. She was just going to do it for a month. And she took it off the menu at the end of the month, and people were coming in in December and January and February saying, you've got to make me that amazing <laughs> Thanksgiving sandwich. I if you're feeling like it. Thanksgiving in the middle of July, it's the perfect solution. Right? And it's, yeah, it's great. And so it actually it was never intended to be a staple on the menu. Uh, but it was so good, and it was, it was so requested that she just kept buying the ingredients and kept making it just in case someone would walk in and eventually it became a very part a very you know healthy menu mix part and she kept on the menu so there was a band in here earlier and i was like you guys have never had capriati's what let me guys let me show you the bobby and they literally when they were walking out they're like can we have another one <laughs> so i gotta say the bobby is like what i tell everyone to do but the cheesesteak is also an original item it's an original item yeah so what was the story behind that one since it's the most popular you know, Delaware is real close to Pennsylvania. It's real close to Philly. Gotcha. And so Philly, the home of the cheesesteak. And again, you know, in that part of the country, in the mid-Atlantic region, there's a sub shop on every corner. Uh -huh. And and so cheesesteaks are just a staple item. You know, similar out here to, you know, burgers, right? You know, there's a burger place on every corner. Yeah. People can eat it all day long. Well, yeah. out there in the mid-Atlantic region, they eat cheesesteaks all day long. And so it had to be on the menu. But what Lois did differently with the cheesesteak and why I think... You know, well, the cheesesteaks won hundreds of awards as well, but why it's such a different cheesesteak and why a lot of people, you know, 
they gravitate towards the Capriati cheesesteak is because what we do different and what Lois has always kind of, her philosophy has always been is, is the highest quality, most real product. And so, you know, our turkey, for example, on the bottom, right? It's not processed, it's not sliced, it's not preserved it's turkey. It's not dry, anymore. it's delicious. It is a Thanksgiving <laughs> turkey. So we take 24 pound whole butterball turkeys and cook them in the restaurant every single night. We pull them apart every single morning. You're eating Thanksgiving turkey. It has one ingredient, turkey. Well, our cheesesteak is the same thing. So our cheesesteak is USDA choice, top brown steak. It's fresh vegetables, like fresh mushrooms that are never canned. Our onions are chopped fresh inside the restaurant. Our peppers are chopped fresh inside the restaurant. And so you're getting this, and, and our cheese is, you know, a very high quality, real American cheese. So American cheese is a funny thing, right? Because you know, 99% <laughs> of it is not cheese. It's cheese product is what they call it. It's actually not real. So when you eat like Velveeta or you eat like any American cheese, Velveeta it's really awful. fake. It's, it's not real. But, but, but this product, this is real. American cheese. So they actually use a cheddar block and they, they, they turn it into white American. And so you're getting 100% real ingredients. There is no processing that's happening. And it's all getting cooked in, in house right there for you made to order. So it's fantastic. And then that's, that's, it's a huge differentiation point between any of the other cheesesteaks you can get pretty much. Anywhere. I think your whole menu is like that though, because we were just talking about it. Like they do the meatballs. You know, they make in there, the, the turkey, you guys do it there. Yeah, Everything's there. Too. That's Lois's family recipe. So that's a hundred year old meatball recipe that they've had in their family and we cook them inside the restaurant every single day. That's crazy. So every well, morning we hand roll those. You guys are amazing. Thank I don't think much. I've ever been to a Capriati's and not had the same quality of food or the like poor quality food. It's always perfect. Well, the sandwiches are perfect. Well, I always get the Bobby, but that's my jam. <laughs> I have been there where it hasn't been perfect one or two times, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, every time I go in, I'm glad you say that. You know yes. what? You're that confident. Good. But every time I've gone in, it's been perfect. You guys are amazing. Wonderful. And uh, thank you for bringing us some delicious sandwiches. Absolutely. You guys brought the Bobby. What else did you guys bring? So we brought our catering tray. Right? Okay. So that it's, you know, it's starting to become catering season, right? We're about to have graduations. We're about to have end of schools. Um, and so we brought you our catering tray. And inside of that tray, what I look at is the cold turkey. I see the Bobby and I also see the Slobby Joe. And so that's our fresh roasted roast beef with our homemade coleslaw. And so this is, you know, this is what I think we really do great for, for you know, certainly graduations or anytime you want to have a party, parties. lunch party, work office parties, whatever it is. Our catering is awesome. It comes in this awesome box. And you know, it's another, delicious. another funny story. My coworkers literally just went to Capriati's and they were walking in with Capriati's and I had this big box and they're like, what the heck, Heather? Yeah. You're not sharing? And I was like, <laughs> my bad. So we all love Capriati's in this building. So thank you very much for bringing it today. Well, it's great. Now they can have it for dinner also. Yeah, exactly. Right? Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you.